We're standing here outside the Jazz House in downtown Lawrence. Make sure they go through my poetry set. Come on, let's check it out. The first poem I'm going to read tonight is titled Indianism. They say cultures are clashing inside of me, and it's up to me to decide. Yeah, right. If it were up to me, I'd kill every white man alive. If it were up to me, I'd rape every white woman I walk by. If it were up to me, I'd burn every station wagon I see. And I'd do it for you, and I'd do it for me. I'd do it for the wind, and I'd do it for the trees. I'd do it for the lakes, and I'd do it for the land, for the people of the plains, and the people of the sand, for the people of the fish, and the people of the swamp. Hell, I'd do it for everybody, because that's how I was taught by my great, 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 great grandmother right before a white man beat her and raped her, leaving her to die inside of a burning TP. And they say cultures are clashing inside of me. But what about my great, 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 great grandpa after he buried his wife and children at wounded knee? And they say cultures are clashing inside of me. They don't even know who I be, oppressed and living only by words passed to me. The only good white man is a dead white man. I said the only good white man is a dead white man. Just think about it, man. Remember how it felt to be Indian? Hell no, you don't. Neither do I. But you know what? They say cultures are clashing inside of me, and it's up to me to decide. Yeah, right. If it were up to me, if it were up to me for just one day, fools better pray. It's never up to me. Because if it were up to me, if it were really, really up to me, Cultures wouldn't be clashing inside of me. They'd be clashing inside your head, America. It's supposed to be land of the free, but it's where my culture is ceasing to be. And number two on the list tonight is a poem I titled, Warriorism. Free Leonard Powell Chair. Yelled two bears, one bear before he passed out. Then we started thinking on it, drinking on it, smoking on it, doing all these things Indians do to warm our jaws, stretch our tongues, free our minds. And finally, someone spoke. I got it, said Geronimo, my crazy Apache friend. We go to Leavenworth, and we make war, and we take back the warrior spirit they have trapped inside those walls. Chief Seattle stood and declared, no, I done told you, no more war. But we all laughed until he got mad and staggered out the door. Chief Lone Wolf and I both agreed. The posters weren't working. The protests were pointless. Geronimo was right. Talk was cheap and actions spoke louder than words. And so it was decided we were going to bust Leonard out old school style. Sitting Bull said he would gather the medicine and I could supply the weapons of mediocre destruction and Chief Loa said he would bring the beer. <laughs> but Geronimo took a sip, then he took a hit. And bad Indian mascots, he yelled as he fell in defeat from a different ongoing battle. Then we started thinking on it, drinking on it, smoking on it doing all these things Indians do to warm our jaws, stretch our tongues, free our minds. And I wrote this next one, and it has two titles. The first title is Stereotype, AKA Indianism Part Two. Part two to that one. <laughs> Ever try to find a real Indian? Ever try to define the word Indian? 
Let me see here. N D N. Definition one. A native or inhabitant of India. Definition two. A long-haired, TP-living, peace pipe smoking, bow and arrow shooting, fish sparing, buffalo hunting, adobe building, basket weaving, bingo playing, fry bread eating, casino <laughs> owning, jewelry making, tribal plates having, no good, genocide surviving, unemployed, devil worshiping, drunk savage. Whoa, that's me to a T. <laughs> But they forgot welfare baby making, no insurance having, no tax filing, bad credit rating, bush hating, weed smoking, lazy bastard. And I know the media of India. Oh, and luscious. <laughs> Definition three, undefined. See also unrealistic. Oh man, that's it, because hell, I'm Indian. And I can't even define me. So I think I'm gonna to have to go with definition three. Ever try to define the word Indian? Ever try to find a real Indian? I tried looking in the mirror, but there was nothing there. Went to a powwow and saw a bunch of clowns dancing while the white people stared. Went to a reservation, not a native in sight. Went to a casino, and even the workers there were white. That's when I went to the bars, but the natives were no longer there, just the remains of their heritage and a bunch of wannabes who didn't care. Was I the last Indian on earth? Wait a minute, was I even Indian? And if so, where did my people go? But it was obvious, we were never here. Only our stereotypes, only our long hair. Pretty good, good crowd. Poems flowed pretty good. I'm about to take myself to Taco Bell, so I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all like this film. This one goes out to all the writers out there struggling, expressing themselves, expressing their struggle. Pick up my pen, here I go again. Gonna write something new just for you, just for me, just to see if I got this shit down on lock. Cause I got a mind full of mad thoughts. Fuck writer's block. Hell, I didn't choose to write, no, writing chose me. I'm a prodigy, put on this path so unknown to me. But I learned to love this talent that I possess, even though it possesses me. Regardless, I'm gonna be the best. So many people died to get me here. That I would grow up to write Cause if there's one thing I couldn't do Was do things right I've done everything wrong Since the day I was born Came out of my mama's womb My page is already torn I don't know what's going on